What's up guys? Today's video is going to be testing out new makeup products. I'm only going to test out three new products. Two are a primer, so I'm going to try out the Soap and Glory One Heck of a Blot Instant Perfecting Power Primer and the Smashbox Photo Finish Primer Water, so I'm going to layer these two on top and on top of one another. And then the Boots Number no. 7 um, Caramel Bronzer, which looks like that. And um, all of these products were recommended to me by Casey Holmes. If you've not watched her videos, which I'm sure most of you have, she is amazing. She's really good at what she does. And I really like, I take her recommendations to heart. So let's see if all of this stuff works out. All right, so my face is clean and moisturized from washing it last night. So we're going to go ahead and start with the Soap and Glory Primer. Um, this is for all skin tones. There's no shade. I'm just going to open it up. The packaging looks just like this. One heck of a blot instant perfecting power primers. I get oily and I also um, have really big pores so I'm hoping that this will help close that up and make it so I don't get oily throughout the day. And what I'm going to do in this video is I'm going to bring my camera along and I'm going to keep you guys updated a couple times throughout the day just to see how it's going, see if it's holding up um, what it says to do and yeah. So I'm going to open this up. I'm just going to put just a little pea-sized amount like that. Rub it together. I'm going to put it in my T-zone. It's not like a silicone primer, but it does feel pretty good on the skin. I mean, it doesn't feel bad. I'm putting a little bit on my chin, right around here, and up through my nose. And then I'm going to put a little bit more. Just like the tiniest amount and add some here, here, and up here. And just kind of spread that around. The only place that I really get oily and have big pores is in my T-zone, so I don't really want to prime. Use the primer on my whole area. By the way, if I'm looking down here, it's because I have a mirror right here. But I'm just kind of rubbing it all down all over my face. And then that's good. So it doesn't have a tint or anything, um, so it doesn't really cover anything up. But just looking now, I don't really see much of a difference, but again, this is one heck of a blot. Um, it's a power primer. So it says with shine block, 12 hour matte spheres and pore shrink technology. So we will see. Then on top of that, I'm gonna layer the Smashbox Photo Finish Primer Water. I've also heard very good things about this. Oh, tip, keep it cool for an extra refreshing, ultra cooling mist stored in the fridge. So I just got the travel size because obviously I didn't know if I was going to like it, didn't want to buy the full size bottle in case I didn't like it, but this is just what the little bottle looks like. Um, here you go, you can kind of see that there. Excuse my nails and my eyebrows, I'm going to get those done soon. I'm going to shake this a little bit, pop open the top, I'm going to give it a tester spray since I haven't actually opened it yet. There we go. Alright, so I'm just probably going to do three or four spritzes all over the face. Oh jeez, I felt that on my arms. Okay, there we go. It's all over me, but that's okay. So I'm just gonna, just because it's a water, I'm just gonna kind of mat it down, make sure it's not wet, basically. Uh, maybe I'll do one more little spritz right in the middle. And it's all over my arms, but that's okay. That's the one thing about like spray bottles. They're really, really hard to control. So my arm is primed. <laughs> this is primed. Cool. So that is those primers taken care of. Um, I'm going to go and put some concealer and some powder on. And then I will be right back. All right, guys. So I have... Uh, <coughs> Alright guys, so I have put concealer and powder on my face, usually on an everyday basis. I usually only wear concealer. I don't really like to do a full face of foundation. It just drives me nuts. Um, but yeah, I put, I used the Maybelline Fit Me Concealers and the Airspun Loose Face Powder with a Real Techniques brush. And um, already I can tell that my concealer went on so much better. Um, it usually breaks up pretty bad so 
it went on 10 times better already. And yeah, so next thing I normally do is bronzer. So we're gonna go ahead and go in with this number seven caramel bronzer and see how it goes. So I'm just gonna be using this little brush right here. Um, this is the, this one or an angle brush is the one I normally use. I kind of just mix it up and skip around. I don't really care too much. So the one thing I can say about this packaging is it is really nice. Um, I like the color. I like how it's reflective and the mirror in it is really good as well. Can you see the camera? There's a mirror. There's the camera, hello. Um, so I'm just gonna dip my brush in here. As you can see, there's already quite a bit of pigment, so I'm going to tap off the excess, and I'm just going to go in with it. So I always want to start with a light hand, especially with new products, because it gets, it can go very bad very quickly. But as you can see, there's already, you can already tell right there. And then I'm just going to do the same on the other side. So two taps, tap off the excess, and go right underneath my cheekbone. So you can start to see it. It's not as prominent as this side, but it is it's getting there. So I'm going to do two taps, tap off the excess, and follow that same line. So I think that looks pretty good. This one I don't really worry about tapping off the excess because it's, it's just to create that shadow. And then I'm going to do the same thing up on my forehead. This brush probably isn't the best brush to use, but it does the job, and this is what I use on a normal basis. You make sure you want to get it right up in your hairline so it doesn't look funny, and then right around this way. So I'm just trying to make it even on both sides of my face. I look really washed out right now because I'm in front of windows, but um, I think it looks pretty good. I don't have any complaints. It, I mean, nothing... Nothing crazy, nothing too special, but I think it looks pretty good. Just trying to get it even, it's the hardest part, huh? Um, and then I'm just going to take my Real Techniques brush and just kind of run over it all. Just don't want to make sure, I want to make sure it's not too harsh. So I think this is a pretty good color. I think it looks pretty good. Um, obviously it looks kind of crazy in the lens right now, but let's see how it looks on camera. All right. There we go. Cool, and it, it blends out really easily. It's not streaky at all. Um, I do, I like it. And it's not too harsh, which is nice. I think the color match is pretty good. I could probably be a little bit more tan to make it work. This is the darkest shade, I believe. Um, this is the one that Casey Holmes used, and we have pretty similar skin tones, except when she's self-tanned. But so far, I like it. Um, bronzers normally hold up pretty well on me, but we'll see how these primers and bronzers hold up throughout the day. And I'm going to go finish my makeup, and then I'll come and end this video. Alright guys, sorry if the zoom is a little bit different on these clips, but I finished my makeup. I uh, just did eyebrows, mascara, some blush, and I am ready for work. So I will catch up with you guys later. This isn't an outro. Um, but as of right now, just like immediate right off the bat, my makeup looks ten times better. Um, let me pull this a little closer. My concealer isn't breaking up as bad, and I realize that could be the concealer that's breaking up, but concealer's not breaking up as bad. Um, whole face looks genuinely better. I love the bronzer. I think it's really great. Um, yeah, I will keep you guys posted on how it holds up for the rest of the day, and I will see you guys in a little bit. All right, guys, so it is many hours later. Um, I filmed the last clip at about 9.30 this morning, and it is 2.45 in the afternoon. Um, so I'm just going to do this update really quick. Um, let's see. Bronzer is still holding up really well. Like I said, um, bronzer does hold up very well on me, but my nose is oily. So if you look, it's very shiny. And then let me get somewhere that you can see it better in the light. So you can kind of see, you can kind of see there that there's like some oil and, um, yeah, look, you can see it right up in there, but nothing's breaking up. So normally by this time of day, my nose is really oily and it's like my concealer's breaking up on my face, but today it's oily,
but my concealer's not breaking up. So it's obviously doing something different than what I was using before or what I wasn't using before, depending on the day, whether I used a primer or not. But it would probably be a little bit better if I had um, foundation on. And yeah, so I will go ahead and update you guys maybe one or two more times um, before I take my makeup off tonight. And then we will see how it looks at the end of the day. I'm not gonna blot my skin. Um, I'm not gonna do anything. I'm just gonna leave it as it is and see how it goes. So I will catch up with you guys in a little bit. All right guys, this is gonna be my last update for this wear test on the Soap and & Glory and Smashbox Primer and the bronzer. Um, so for the bronzer, it's still there. I've been like laying on a couch and like I have not tried to make it last whatsoever. But you can see it's still there on my forehead and you can see a little bit of a shadow on either side. So it's still there. I mean, this is normally how my bronzers look at the end of the day, so it's nothing special, but it held up the way I needed it to. It held up through work and that's all that matters. Um, my nose is very oily. Yep. <laughs> that's normally how it goes. Now, bear in mind, I have not blotted nothing, but you can see that it's not breaking up. So that is one thing I can say is that using the two primers together, um, I don't know which one it was, but they did break up or it didn't make my makeup break up, which it normally does. My makeup normally breaks up on my nose. And, um, I also, I mean, I like the primer. I have nothing bad. I have nothing bad to say about it. It didn't, it's not preventing oil, but that could also be the powder I used. That airspun powder might not agree with me, but yeah, that is, I'm going to keep testing these um, products out for you guys. I'll give you a second update in a few weeks. Let you know how I think about it. I'm going to take it on my trip, see if it makes a difference, but that's about it for this video and I will see you guys in my next one. Bye guys.